A federal investigation underway. We're now learning that two Russian-backed Twitter accounts had ties to Louisiana. According to our partners at the New Orleans Advocate, the Russian-made Twitter handles sent out information about several local and state-related stories. Carice Jackman spoke with one political scientist about these accounts. So, Carice, do we know the names of the accounts? Yes, Tyne and Nally, it's called Baton Rouge Voice and New Orleans On. And the person that we spoke to tonight say, while it is shocking that it's happening, he's not surprised that Russian-linked accounts are coming in to our state and local politics. They are issues that send people into the streets. From the Confederate monuments to the ambush attack on Baton Rouge officers and deputies last year. Many people in Louisiana experience it through social media sites like Twitter. But now we're learning two Twitter accounts that shared information on some of our state's biggest stories had Russian ties. It's not too surprising. What the Russians always like to do is inject chaos. According to our partners at the New Orleans Advocate, Baton Rouge Voice and New Orleans Online are two of nearly 3,000 Twitter accounts belonging to Russia's Internet Research Agency. The same agency tied to the Kremlin, now being investigated by the Justice Department for potentially spreading political messages during last year's presidential election. WWL-TV looked up the accounts, but both of them have been suspended. Chris Fetweiss, associate political science professor at Tulane, says these fake accounts are clearly a foreign attempt to influence issues close to home. I would imagine they're doing it everywhere, and they have enough people working to, to do this everywhere if they wanted to. There's, I've heard recent reports that the Chinese have something like 40,000 people working essentially only on Internet-related stuff. And the, the Russians probably have equal numbers or perhaps a little bit fewer. So there's, they have to do something. Both accounts reportedly shared information about the 2016 Baton Rouge flooding, stories with reliable information. The way the Russians work a lot, half of that stuff's going to be true and half of it's made up. So they'll hook you in with the true stuff, stuff that you can confirm elsewhere. And then, and then if, if it looks like a reliable source, they'll draw you into a, a stupid direction. Fetweiss says this should be a lesson to be mindful about what you read and where you get your information from. We're never going to get rid of it. Even if we get rid of all the Russians, there are enough crazy people in this country to will keep us all busy. The advocate says Congress estimates that out of all of the accounts, around 11.4 million Americans probably saw content with Russian ties. Ton. Chris, thank you.